morning, good morning, good morning. Stocks go up, stocks go down. Then we see, then we see, then we see. Uh, interesting day. FedEx, we didn't do anything with the FedEx. We thought it would be halfway decent, but it's way down. But they missed on a time when shopping did very, very well. So very, very interesting. FedEx uh, 250s were like 20 cents. They're going to go to $3. Very interesting. Uh, we looked at the puts, but here's the thing like Adobe. Things don't go up a lot. They just don't, okay? Uh, so you just have to understand that. And if you do, then you do okay. I mean, forcing trades way to the upside don't work, okay? Today, what you want to see, Goldman Sachs went way down yesterday, I mean, two days ago, and then came back. So now you want to see it's within striking distance of that 387. If it gets that, they're going to run this into the end of the week. If it doesn't, write that down. Same thing with NVIDIA. NVIDIA got over 500, couldn't hold 503, dropped 10. We've told you, the SAMS numbers. Today's interesting because uh, I get a message that Lilly got an $830 target. Uh, I don't know if that's real or it came out earlier. If you guys know, type type it in here. Uh, but it's down. On an $800 target, it's down. Interesting, right? It should be up 10 minimum. Uh, Amazon just sitting there. Google getting better. Uh, Boeing. Uh, FedEx deliveries are being surpassed by Amazon delivering their own stuff. Yes, I agree that. So FedEx is in more trouble, but... You know, some of this stuff is, is crazy. FedEx was always crazy, I always thought. Uh, but, you know, things like DocuSign and all that are destroying FedEx, right? I mean, think about it. All these papers you would have to sign, you'd FedEx here, they'd sign it, put it back, they'd screw it up, miss a spot, you'd have to send it again. And all that goes away with DocuSign. So that, that affects it also, okay? Uh, some stuff to know. Very interesting. A line, if China is better, and I don't know if China is better. A line, Smile Direct actually uh, declared bankruptcy. So does a line rip to 300? That would be 200 to 300. Okay. Uh, things about solar. So solar is way up. N phase for solar and SEDG way up. But just understand this solar itself, the numbers itself, are not going to be good, okay? Now, that doesn't mean they don't go up. It just You just have to understand the numbers are not going to be good, but the guide has to be good. If the guide is good, then they're going to go a long way. I mean, they, they can go a long way up, okay? Uh, but if the guide is bad, they got a long way down, okay? So just understand that. Just because interest rates go down, and when they go down, let's say they went down a point. Somebody is going to go buy more, put more solar on their house? No, it doesn't work that way, okay? Uh, so just understand that. I mean, I think they've moved a lot, but don't know. I mean, but doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what Sam thinks. Doesn't matter what's, ha what, what's real out there with solar. Just matters if the stock went up or down, right? Uh, that's Sam, 101. SMCI... Uh, all about 327 now. 327 is in the new 316. If it gets through, it goes nuts, goes nuts, goes nuts. Uh, Boeing holding nicely. Uh, Afrom got an upgrade to 65. Wow, wow, wow. Interesting, interesting. Uh, and JP Morgan, who is uh, <coughs> Jamie Dimon, comes out and says, even if ETF is approved for, for Bitcoin, it goes down. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay? Uh, so the theme of the day, very interesting to me, is is this thing that my sister told me many years ago. You know, I, she, she, did, she did marketing for for these companies, and she br brought out Augmented and stuff. And huge, brilliant marketer, right? Uh, and way back when, years ago, I mean, geez, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, she told me something that that seems to be happening in Bitcoin. It, hap it happens all the time with all, all these drug companies. 
She went in, she said, and the CEO said, hey, put this on this ad. And she said, you can't do this. I mean, this isn't true. Right? And he said, it doesn't matter if it's true. It doesn't matter. All that matters is we make more money. So if we make a billion dollars and they find us $100 million, we made $900 million. If we don't do that, we're only going to make $200 million. So why not lie? And why not do it on purpose? And here's the problem with our enforcement system. The penalties are so minor that CEOs would say that. So now you take that to all of crypto. You take that to what anybody says, any of these guys say. Think about it. If Mike Wilson comes out 10 times and says the market's going way lower, and if you go to look at his book, now we don't know what his book is. Who knows? Just making up stuff. Maybe he's buying stuff. Don't know. Don't know. Think, think about how scummy that is, right? So that's the world we live in. And I told you the story about Nakia many times, uh, about a guy sitting down with the CEO and puts out a sell recommendation saying Nakia is going to go to shit. And that same day, Nakia guides up. So people hear what they want to hear. And this is what I say about bias all the time is, let's say you have Netflix. If Netflix were to come out and say, we're, go we're, we're going to have a bad quarter, and you have calls, you would say, oh, it's already in there. It's going to go up. That's what you would say because you have calls. Not Sam. Sam would say, it's going to go to shit and go by. But. I mean, so so just understand this. So Lily, think about what Goldman Sachs said yesterday with Lily. I mean, this, this is a fascinating take on complete asinine. They say Lily with G1 drugs, GL1, the stock can go up 140%. Okay, so that takes the stock to $1,340 by 2028. So in five years. Four years. In four years, the stock will go up 140%. Then they put a hold on it. So is the $1,340 price target bullshit? Are they lying to you? Absolutely lying to you. If they're not buying it and it's going to go up 140%, why are they even mentioning it? See, this is the scummy nature of Wall Street, okay? And don't get caught up in all this scummy stuff. This is what, what people do. Because once again, going back to uh, the pharmaceutical advertising, it doesn't matter what you say. If you can make more money, Google can come out and put out a fake video. Their stock goes from 130 to 138. And then they come out and they say, oh, yeah, we lied. It was fake. And it only goes to 133. Their stock went up three points. They say, oh, my God, we did great, right? So just understand that. That's the world you live in. Now, it doesn't matter right or wrong. It, nothing matters except the direction of the stock. And that's why I pound these guys on CNBC. A guy comes out, lady yesterday comes out and says, if we get one more uh, bad CPI, I'll reverse and I'll become bullish. One more bad CPI, and we're at 5,000. So you missed it from 4,000 to 5,000, and now you're going to become bullish. <laughs> really? You, you can't make this stuff up, right? So just understand that. But once you understand this mindset, you trade differently. You trade differently. Okay? Uh, okay, let's get started. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. 1220. Stocks go up, stocks go down, then we see, then we see, then we see. Okay? Okay. Uh, SPX was down 10. Let me look. look. It is down 8. Uh, we're not going anywhere downside. There's, there's, no, there's no downside. You may go down 10 or 20, maybe 25. That's it. You're not going down. Okay? It's, it's pretty, pretty easy to see. Unless you get news, there's no reason to buy to the downside. They're going to destroy people to the upside when it goes. Okay? Uh, SPX 47, uh, 51 downside. 
47, it got right near this 47.72, you got 47.91, okay? Uh, Zaito Biden, a group attending a dozen Chinese officials at China's preference to take Taiwan peacefully. Yeah, this, the Taiwan thing is not going to happen, okay, guys? So th this guy used to be in here, right? He used to, you know, uh, uh, do, do, do this call with me and, and then turned out to be not such a good person. But uh, uh, let me tell you something. He used to tell me there's World War III coming for 10 years. He's waiting for World War III for 10 years. He may wait for 20 years. He's going to die before it happens. Okay? I'm telling you. Don't bet on Taiwan, anything happening. Look, wars don't just start. Well, Ukraine did and Gaza did, but they knew, okay? So just know that. World wars just don't start. And wars with the U.S. don't just start because they know we'll blow them up, okay? So just understand that. Saying stuff like uh, war, Zai is saying uh, something's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen, okay? If you play for that to happen, you, you might as well just give your wi uh, wife every penny you got and say, honey, I mean, give me an allowance. There you go. Okay. Uh, Avago. It had its move now. 1172 up, 1091 down. NVIDIA all about 503. Uh, Adobe, it, it's in its no man's land. It's in no man's land. There's no reason for me to play up or down till it's ready. Probably another four weeks. Okay. 609, 632. Land research, 781. There's so much news out there on chips. This thing is going to absolutely rocket to 900 on earnings, way up there. So we'll keep an eye on that one. Uh, 8, 822. 822. Amazon, 156, 159. Pan W didn't move, so we sold it. Uh, Lily, don't understand. If somebody sees that news, let me know uh, on the upgrade. Just how does it get an upgrade to 800 and doesn't move today? Interesting. Uh, Nike... <laughs> earnings are coming has moved a lot but lulu moved a lot okay so so keep an eye on this one uh i actually like the 130s as a lot or if it gets down to about 30 cents they're a dollar too much right now amd all about 142 uh coin moving moving 167 micro strategy all about bitcoin back to 44,000. netflix trying to break up see this is what i'm telling you about netflix gets high of year a complete breakup Every chart says a complete breakup. Every everything says a complete breakup. Opens down two and a half. Afrin. Fifty-one fifty-six. Goldman Sachs, three eighty-three, three eighty-seven, Boeing, two sixty-six, UPSD forty eight, fifty-one, Caterpillar one ninety-three, one ninety-eight, Alta can't get through five hundred. Look. Here's the thing about Alta. Guys, you got to know about this stuff about Sam. Sam hits these things, and then they go up, and then they don't, don't move anymore. Stocks like Alta are pretty much unplayable outside of earnings. Okay? Align, Alta, all these stocks, we don't even touch them outside of BKNG. Very hard. They're hard plays. Okay? Don't do the hard plays. Do the simpler plays. I mean, Boeing, we bought Boeing yesterday. It was up a dollar. That's a 50% move. Fast play. Nice. SMCI, 327. Microsoft, 382. NOW, 714. Tesla, 261. And that's what we know, and that's what we know, and that's what we know. Okay? Everybody have a great trend day. See you in chat. Do your shopping. Do your shopping. Everybody have a great trend day. See you in chat.